So it's second down and 10 for Stetson, who at least at the beginning of this play lines up under center with Kenny McIntosh behind him, and it's Bowers, just like Stench talked about in the open. Just get him the football. There he goes. 75 yards. Just a remarkable talent. Brock Bowers lined up, hipped off of the left, left side of the offensive front. And this is just speed. You get the defense to lean the opposite direction. Kind of like what we showed right off the top. This guy is different. This is more than just a tight end. We asked them, you know, is this a, is he a positionless player on the offense? It might take more time. A lot of shifts and motions pre-snap. Schley's in trouble. Down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two on the play as Jamon Dumas Johnson. It's nothing for them to run right here. And that's what they fake. And Schley keeps it himself. And he is tackled at the 35 by Dumas Johnson again. It's a good thing. Schley wants to pass, but he'll never get a chance. Nolan Smith has been uncovered so far. The Dogs had one sack on the season coming in. They have two on the first two possessions. Andrew Glass is long on the season, is 42 yards. This is from 45, and that is right down Broad Street here in Athens. Yeah, Keyshawn Gamble got the hit stench on Stetson Bennett on that last play. Now it's Kenny McIntosh, and McIntosh gets loose for a first down run up to the 29-yard line. And Bennett down the field. This is underthrown, and it's picked off at the five-yard line. They don't just shift on passing plays. They do it on punts, too. Watch out. It's blocked, and it goes back out of the end zone. Jalen Walker blocked it. This would be a safety. There is a flag down. Georgia sensational on third down. One for one today, over 60%. Number one in the SEC, top three in the country. Converting on this play, and they'll do it again as Bennett puts his foot in the dirt, and he gives himself up inside the 40. Now he lost the ball, but he was already down. But just inside 40 yards, it'll be a 39-yard attempt from Podlesny, and that is right down the heart. Dejon Edwards stands next to Bennett on a first and 20. Stetson throws a bullet and it's caught right near the marker to Bowers and Bowers is doing it all once again. That's for his shoulder. He had a procedure in the offseason. Makes it all the more difficult from a catch radius standpoint. McConkey looking for a block and he fumbles the football and it's Kent State's ball. Marvin Pierre came in there and forced the fumble. I think he is an excellent receiver, and is. The numbers bear it out. Schley slings it out to the sideline, and this streaking down the sideline is Walker, who's free, and this is a touchdown for Kent State. Devontes Walker makes the catch near the line of scrimmage. It is a 56-yard touchdown. About this play, you flip it out, you get leverage. Poor insertion. Christopher Smith playing inside that block. The block gets leveraged. But it's been a long first half for 84. Second and 10 for Bennett. And he finds a soft spot in the defense to Big O. Darnell Washington for the first down. Big O is just a behemoth in that uniform. Kendall Milton finds a soft spot. He's inside the 20. Nico Bolton with the tackle that might have saved a touchdown. Bowers already has one rushing touchdown, make it two. This guy is a weapon in every single way. We're talking about heavy horse. Who's in at fullback? It's Jalen Carter. So you better believe you got to bear up. Swinging it out past the 40. Pass midfield, this is a first down for Kent State and staying in bounds inside the 35. And now he's made another. 
We have a one-score game with 3.39 to go in the first half. Already, Bennett's found nine different receivers today. It's the 10th play of the drive. Bowers, another terrific catch, just short of the end zone. It does, and now Bennett will take off. And there's a flag down as he dives for the end zone, short, with eight seconds left. The last couple of plays, totally out of sorts. Let's see if Stinch, if he got in. Dogs are already over their season average for rushing yards with 169 today. Bennett throws to McConkey and he makes a great grab. Just like you said, Stitch, don't warm him up. He's going to make sure he had a clean look at that ball, whether he had to do offensive PR or not. Surprised a flag did not come out. It's a 20 yard completion. Dejon Edwards goes to the ground with a burst of speed, breaking tackles. And he's downed inside the 20 yard line. We'll come onto the field. This is a 32 yard attempt. And he makes the score 29 to 13 with 10 41 to go. This one from 22 yards for Andrew Glass, who's made a couple 45 yarders. And it's right through there again. New score 29 16, Georgia. He has 31 yards rushing today. Milton comes in. Bennett fakes to him, throws behind Darnell Washington, who makes the catch at the 15 yard line. A couple of weeks ago against Samford, but then he missed a field goal. This gets him back in front of Hot Rod, and it's good from 32 yards out. And as competitive as they've been against, against the number one team of the country, should give you all kinds of confidence, but this is a fake, and it's converted the second straight week. Georgia's given up a first down on a fake punt. Sayin West makes the catch. First down, Kent State. They've scored long touchdowns on offense, created turnovers on defense, and they just converted a fake punt, and now Marquez Cooper gashes Georgia down to their 30-yard line. Right up the middle, once again. Jamin Dumas Johnson committed to the opposite A-gap. Great pickup. Cooper gets in, touchdown Kent State. Golden Flash's stench have been running right at Georgia all day. To mash the gas here in the fourth quarter, back to back drives. Here's Bennett at the one, turns to Milton. Milton extra effort, looks like he's in, yes. This touchdown. Heck of an effort by Kendall Milton. Seen that a couple of times here this half. Not a clean insertion. Had to dance a little bit. Maybe one step too much. This year had that 50-50 ball for an interception last week. In the Gamecocks victory. Schley has all kinds of time. He's thrown into double coverage though. And this is just like a punt. Christopher Smith intercepts it and runs to his Georgia bench. Georgia beats Kent State today 39-22 and Stinch it was hard for 60 minutes. Yeah, none of the prognosticators saw this one coming right and the money was wrong big time when you think about the way this game unfolded. It was a slog for the dog. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.